All right, once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Raka, Kodash, double honesty, apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. This is the word from the GMSTRA.com. Just bringing out a quick video to his words of the Mosa, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. And my video is entitlement today is Reincarnation is Real. All right. So, um, more or less, there's always this big discussion on if reincarnation is real or not. So I'm just going to bring out some precepts and some scriptures just to back up that reincarnation is real according to the scriptures. And it's not a myth. All of us, I'm pretty sure, was on this it once. And we're here to face our judgment or salvation. Well, when I say salvation, I don't mean it in our context, like when Yahushai comes back. But... All of us have a purpose, and all of us at one point have been on this earth. Um, it's Revelation chapter 3 and verse 12. Him that overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, Yahweh Shemeshai, and he shall go out, and he shall go no more out. Right, so that term out means that going out of the temple. And coming in, and I will write up upon him the name of my God, Yahweh Shemeshai, and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from Yahweh, and I will write upon him my new name. So yes, yeah, so that 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 just goes to prove that at the end of the day, once we go up to the Most High according to how we live or how we were doing things down here. He would send us back out of his kingdom to be judged, to face our judgment. And, you know, the, this reincarnation, not like how them Elam and them, who is so called Eastern and them, believe that when you die, you come back as an animal. The scripture also say, uh, uh, so, uh, the prophet of a soul is subject to a prophet. So you ain't gonna be a, a prophet and then come back to be a non-prophet in this world, if you understand what I'm saying. Now this Malachi chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of that great and joyful day of the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. Right, so that was in Malachi. Now Elijah was taken up in a chariot of fire, more or less Elijah leave this earth. And... When you really look at um, that, they say that Elijah will come before that, that, that dreadful day of the Lord, the Hamashem Shai. So Elijah left already. So then how can Elijah come back if he left already? So if you leave the earth already, how can you come back? Um, there's Luke chapter 1 and verse 13. Uh, but the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias. For thy prayer is heard, and thy wife, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, shall hear, shall bear a son, Sakya, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, the Harbashim Rishai, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And may of the children of Israel shall return to the Lord of Hashem and their power, their power. And he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just and to keep ready people prepare for the Lord of Hashem and Shai. So yeah, there you see um, more or less um. The angel um telling that Elijah is gonna come back. So it just goes to show um what Malachi was saying. So this John was actually a spirit of Elijah. So then it goes back to prove that reincarnation. Um if we go to Mark chapter 9 and verse 13. <coughs> 9 13. Um, but I say unto you that Elijah is indeed come, and they have done unto him whatever they listed 
I said, it's written for him. So you know, Elijah came and he, it came back in a body of John and they, they more or less kill Elijah. So the scriptures is very clear about what they're saying concerning reincarnation. Reincarnation is real. And reincarnation, the rebirth of a soul into another body, that's the meaning of it in the English term. So in Matthew chapter 11, verse 13 to 14, For all the prophets and the law prophesy unto John, and if he will receive it, this is Elias or Elijah, which was for to come as prophesied in Malachi also. So Elijah came back as John. Elijah is John. Matthew chapter 17, verse 12 and 13. But I say unto you that Elijah is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatever they listed. Likewise, shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood he spoke unto them of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was Elijah. Elijah was John the Baptist. Just again to prove that reincarnation is real according to the scriptures. Um, it's John chapter 9, verse 1 and 2. <coughs> yeah, so. And the hour shall pass by, and he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parent, that he was born blind? So they asked a blind man who was born from birth, who had sinned, if he had sinned or his parents. Now, if you're born blind, how you can sin before birth? Ah, so just, just, another, just another way to back up the show that judgment is done upon this face of this earth. And that when your spirit goes back to the Mosa, he sends you back to be judged. Because if a man born blind, how they could ask who sinned, if he had sinned or his parents? Because in order for him to sin, if he born blind, means he was here before and had done that sin. So if you go back to Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27 to 28, Yeah, just just kept us to back up, you know, just to show you guys reincarnation is real. <laughs> it's not a myth, it's real. Alright, um, Hebrews 9 27 to 28. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So Mashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. He appeared the second time. Now shall he come back again? Again, that's reincarnation. But if you go back to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 16, You will actually see where that judgment is talking about, 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that um, iniquity was there. Yeah, so the place of judgment is under this earth. The place of judgment is here. If you, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 12. And I saw the dead, great, small and great, stand before Yahweh, and the book will open, and the book will open, which is the book of life, and the dead will judge out of the things which were written in the book according to their works. Come. So it, it just goes back to show that reincarnation is real. It's part of the Bible. It's part of our culture. 
as part of our heritage. The scriptures are written for the children of Israel, between the Negroes, Latinos, and the Natives. You make up the house of Israel. And the Mosai Yahweh Shemusha is going to send back his son, which is reincarnation again. He died, he rose again after three days, he was taken up. And he's going to come back to redeem us from this wicked ass kingdom we live in, which is the Edom kingdom, super white man kingdom. And the, you know, the, the Israelites too, um, just to be clear on it, is in the girls, Latinos, and natives. I always like to be clear on that every time I have a topic. And, you know, just to, just to educate you guys again that reincarnation is real. And you are the house of Israel, you need those Latinos and natives. Come back to your true heritage, which is the most I have, Hashem, Yushai. That's this true Hebrew name. You know, so I, I hope this edification was um with the night in some way or the other. Alright, so I wanna just give a praise and say how Bashem Yoshai Bashem Nakakodash. Double and I say apostles and the elders of great millstone. So the word from the GMS children come. Say inshallah warm be unto you.